So hello and welcome to a maps and navigation video on the Vivo Active 5. So sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but maps and navigation, if you're looking for serious navigation features on this watch, the Vivo Active 5 is not the watch for you. Does that mean it's the end of the world? Is this absolutely terrible for navigation? Well, the quick answer to that is yes, but also no. So if you want to backtrack to where you've started, maybe you start a run near your car or from your tent and you go run 100 miles and you'll know how to find your way back to your tent. Now the Vivo Active 5 is going to help you get back to start, so I think that's a really cool feature. Now whilst you're within an activity, you can hold down this back button and it will take you to the settings menu and basically you've got navigation as the first thing there. Navigation, Vivo Active 5 navigation. If you click on it, what it's going to take you to is three options. So you have to navigate to back to start, so as I said, take you back to your tent, back to your house, maybe back to where the trail started. Below that you've got the save location, so no matter where you are on this planet, you can click save location during activity. Again, if you are near a tent or maybe at an aid station or you've got to the top of a mountain, whatever it is. And the third option there is save location. So once you've saved a location, you can navigate towards it by going onto your save location. I think even Garmin are laughing at the navigation on this because they've put a save location as Garmin Europe. Garmin and Garmin Taiwan. So we're going to click Garmin Taiwan and then it says go to details, rename or change icon. So we can actually look at the details and what it's showing me here is the elevation, it's showing me the distance and also the position in terms of those GPS coordinates. So that's really cool. And then once you want to navigate to it, and again, this could be your tent, you click navigate to, let's just show you that there. And what we've got here is Garmin taking us exactly to the Garmin headquarters in Taiwan, uh, 6,900 miles away. We've got a little red arrow and it's showing us like a compass, which direction to go, and that is pretty much everything. Now again, to be the bearer of bad news, you're not going to be able to get routes on here and courses. So if you're doing a race and you've downloaded the GPX and you're trying to get that route or course onto your Vivo Active 5, keep dreaming it's not going to happen unfortunately and if you are looking for like courses and routes and that GPS navigation maybe check out the Forerunner 165 so this is one of Garmin's newer watches it's still cheap actually I got this cheaper than the Vivo Active 5 so they're both fairly new watches from Garmin both an AMOLED display targeted at different audiences if you want to see a comparison video check that on my channel but apart from that for the same price get the Forerunner 165 and you're going to be able to get routes and courses so these are the two watches, similar price range, you know, 220 euros, 250 dollars, 220 pounds, all kind of within that zone, especially if you get a discount. So yeah, it's not the best news, but with the Vivo Active 5, you'll just get this red arrow to follow and that is it. But for lots of you, it's gonna be good enough. And for me, I've used this sort of navigation when I've been like genuinely lost in the forest to navigate to the top of Snowdon. And you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. And it just means maybe you can get involved with the group who also have maybe better watches and they're navigating to have a general idea of what direction you're running. So yeah, to conclude, navigation on the Vivo Active 5 isn't great and it's a bit poor really because we have got competition now from brands like Coros where you can get like navigation on the pace with that basic navigation tools that at least let you get involved on race day with the GPX files and things like that. And also Sunto Race is such a cheap watch, you know, for an extra £80 or so, maybe extra £100 hundred dollars hundred euros wherever you are you're gonna get yourself like a sapphire glass steel built watch with like fully fledged navigation just as good screen and also much better battery life but yeah if you enjoyed this video please click like comment and subscribe and apart from that peace out so thanks for watching you know the drill like comment and subscribe if you can my slogan dreams are a step away and remember show compassion show esteem and have fun out there Peace out.